As we get into Isaiah 36 today, I'm not sure if you've read it yet or not, but but wow, to me, it kind of reads like a script out of a scene of a movie like, like maybe Gladiator or Braveheart with the hero being ruthlessly verbally assaulted with intimidation, threats, and fear. You see, in this chapter, King Hezekiah and the people of Judah, they're facing a, a brutal and formidable enemy in the Assyrian army. And the Assyrians, they have a track record for conquering their enemies. You know, not just conquering, but, but, but decimating and demoralizing them in defeat. And in this chapter, the Assyrian kings, his chief of staff, he's mocking the people of Judah for their confidence in some of the reliances they have as they face the Assyrian hordes. And ultimately, he scorns and he seeks to undermine their trust in God. But I love what verse 21 says. The people were silent and did not utter a word because Hezekiah commanded them, do not answer him. You know, the enemy of our souls is constantly vying to deceive and to discourage us, casting doubt on God's ability to deliver. And the message we even receive from the kind of godless and worldly perspective is, don't trust in the Lord, rely on your, your own strength. But see, the word of God gives us clarity and how to fight back. In James chapter four, James tells us, humble yourselves before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come close to God and God will come close to you. You see, just as the people in Isaiah's day were silent in response to the enemy's threats, they didn't give him an audience, not to the intimidations or the threats or the scorn, so too we shouldn't entertain the threats of our enemy but resist him by drawing close to God. Maybe you've heard of the explanation of how to chase darkness out of a dark room. The most effective way to dispel darkness is to simply turn on the light. So here's my encouragement to you today. We have an enemy and he'll do everything within his power to discourage and to depress. Everything he can to intimidate and immobilize you but like the people in Isaiah's day, don't engage with him. Don't entertain his lies, but engage with God. Draw close to him today through his word, through his people, and by actively engaging with his plan for your life today.